I am the cream, yeah. The cream of the crop. Oh, yes! What I take, my name is Blu-ray King back with another prediction video. It's that time of the year. The road to WrestleMania. But I always look forward to the Royal Rumble. It's my favorite pay-per-view. A lot of times, it's pretty unpredictable who's going to win. Like this year, I have no idea who's going to win. None whatsoever. The thing I always wonder is, is there going to be a debut? Is there going to be any returns? What's going to happen? One of the first people that makes me think they're going to debut in the Royal Rumble is Ricochet. Ricochet just signed with WWE and they've made it public. He's been in all kinds of videos since then. I really want to say he's going to jump in and debut here, but at the same time I'm thinking maybe not. They haven't even been using his name Ricochet. They've been calling him Trevor Mann. And I seen that, I was like, wait, who the fuck is Trevor Mann? Why don't they use his wrestling name? I never understand why sometimes they don't want to acknowledge the legacy of these other wrestlers. How is WWE going to have the biggest stars in the world if they're nobodies until they come to WWE? That would lead into War Machine. They're a tag team that has been pretty big in Japan, ROH, you know, all over the world. They're pretty big. They're in the same boat as Ricochet. They, I think they all might just go to NXT. Why don't they do an NXT Royal Rumble? That would... That would be interesting. NXT Royal Rumble or a tag team Royal Rumble. And then another one, Kenny Omega. A lot of people were wondering this last year. I really wanted Kenny Omega to come to WWE. Like over the last year, I've watched WWE a lot less. I kind of just stick to the pay-per-views. I don't watch too many shows live. I kind of just watch like the highlights afterwards. And I watch more of CMLL and New Japan. After watching all that, I'd rather Kenny Omega not go to WWE. Same with the Young Buck. You guys are doing your fucking thing outside of WWE. A couple other returns I was thinking about. MVP is in good shape. I could see him possibly making a surprise return at the Rumble. Maybe not a full-time return. You know, it might be the one-off type gig. Or the Hurricane. Now, the Hurricane has been posting about the WWE needs a cruiserweight champion because the whole Enzo Amore thing. The only person really I think that will win, maybe Roman Reigns, because they're... Clearly building towards Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Which is a match no one really wants to see. That match is boring. Speaking of Brock Lesnar, he has a match on the card. Brock Lesnar versus Kane versus Braun Strowman. Now this match, this might sound exciting if Braun Strowman had the potential to win. But being as this is WrestleMania season, Brock Lesnar has held the belt for almost a year. WrestleMania will be like a year. And this is like the worst championship run ever. You show up every now and then, have a couple lame-ass matches. I used to like Brock, but he's just so boring now. We have AJ Styles is going against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I find Sami Zayn highly annoying. He really comes off as a jobber. Kevin Owens, I thought Kevin Owens was alright on Raw with Chris Jericho, but um, with Sami Zayn, I just want to see him lose just because I can see less of Sami Zayn. There's no reason for AJ Styles not to be the WWE Champion right now. That's one of the only good things in WWE right now. Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan versus The Bar. I think Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan are going to win, but I don't like them as a tag team. I'd rather see Seth Rollins in singles competition. They should actually have Chad Gable be Kurt Angle's other bastard son. And they'd be like American Angle. Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable also have a match against the Usos, which I don't think that they're going to win. I'd like to see them win, but I don't think they're going to win. And then you have the Women's Royal Rumble. Now this, I'm excited to see. Like I said, I like the Royal Rumble. I like the concept. I like New Japan's Royal Rumble. So this will be cool to see. I'm wondering exactly what kind of legends they'll have return, like maybe Lita or Trish Stratus. I definitely see one of them popping up. Or Karma. Maybe come back now that she's popular. She's on the Netflix show. Now there's talk about Ronda Rousey showing up. I think that would be cool. But I, I think she just said she's shooting a movie in like South America. So she could just be diverting attention elsewhere. If you guys plan on watching the Royal Rumble, leave me a comment down below. Who do you think is going to win? I'm going to go ahead and say Daniel Bryan makes a return and wins the Royal Rumble. Fuck the yep movement. Yes. Yes. I might be wrong. But anyways, let me know who you think is going to win the Royal Rumble. And until the next time I see you, you stay true and you stay blue. Oh, yeah. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight.
get home tonight.